So you might be in a little bit of a creative rut, but it's all good because I have six tips that's gonna help you defeat producer's block. Let's dig into them. What's up, people? This is Clint on behalf of Airbit, and today we're gonna talk about a few tips that's gonna help you defeat producer's block and help you get out of that rut of uncreativity and just no ideas, no, no direction. So let's dig into it. So if you're a producer, then you've probably had times where you just don't feel inspired or you just don't feel creative and the vibe's just not there. And it's hard to create when the vibes aren't there, right? So we have to kind of do things to kind of spark our creativity as creative so that we can continue to create because that's how our businesses continue to run. We have to continue to create and produce dope music, right? So anytime we're not able to do that, sometimes we can feel a little bit down because that's what we do. Like we're creative people we like to create so I'm gonna give you six tips that's gonna help you get out of that creative rut and back into producing some more dope music so let's dig into the first one the first one is gonna be approach production from a different angle right so I'm a key player right so if you play keys most of the time and you start with you know a, a chord progression or a melody maybe switch things up and start production from the drums or from the bass line something different than what you usually do and that can sometimes spark creativity just approaching it in a different way there's been plenty of tracks where I just picked up a live bass and just started playing the bass line and was able to build off of that versus starting the way I usually start with a chord progression or some type of melody. All right, now the second way you can defeat producer's block, and this is this is probably one of my favorites, and that's getting new sounds or some new gear to spark inspiration. Yeah, that's kind of self-explanatory. Anytime, you know, I get a new plug-in or I get a new piece of gear, I'm excited to use it. I'm excited to create with that new piece of gear or software or plug-in or whatever it may be. That can definitely help inspire you to create some new music and put that new gear and software and all that dope stuff to work. I mean, can you ever really have enough sounds or too many sounds, too many plugins? I don't know. Okay, let's dig into the third one. And this is a great way as well. And that's collaborating with other producers or other artists. Sometimes two brains or three brains is better than one brain. So if you got more than just yourself in the room, you know, throwing out creative ideas, that can also spark some creativity because, you know, different people just have different ideas and they can bring a different perspective and a different approach to the production process. So get around some different people, some different producers, some artists, some writers to spark new creativity to get you out of that creative rut. Okay, and the fourth one. Now, I don't know. Some people may not agree with this. Some people, you know, you want to push through whatever, but sometimes you just have to not produce. Just stop trying to force it. Just take a step back and do something completely unrelated to music, production, whatever. Like go fishing, go like go do something different than just sitting making beats because you you might be burnt out so you may have to take a mental break and just you know find yourself in a new space doing something different maybe if you have a hobby something that just takes your mind away from producing or something that can just inspire you in different ways so yeah just walk away for a minute they say absence makes the heart grow fonder i, I don't think they were talking about beats but i mean try it all right, and number five, which kind of ties into number four, right? Because this is changing your environment and that can kind of tie into number four because this can be something different, non-related to music, but just changing your scenery, changing your environment, maybe produce in the woods, produce by at the beach or like somewhere different, somewhere outside of your normal creative zone. A lot of times change of scenery can spark inspiration. Maybe go book a cabin in the mountain somewhere and you know, you're just inspired by the beautiful views that, you know, you get some, some new fresh ideas just by changing your scenery. All right, and number six. So this one is kind of, this is like an advanced strategy, right? Because you have to kind of think about this before you actually get to the point of producer block, right? So what I recommend is when you're in the zone and you're super creative, try and crank out as many ideas as possible. They don't have to be finished beats. They could be, you know, just eight bars or four bars or just something that, you know, you feel is dope. 
crank it out and just save it. Put it in a folder of, you know, unfinished beats, something that you, you can identify right away and just save them. And then when you're in those creative zones, you can capitalize off of that creativity that you have in that moment to where you've stacked up a bunch of ideas. So when you are experiencing producer block and you can't, you know, spit out dope ideas just on the fly, you have a folder of unfinished ideas that were dope because like your inspiration was on a thousand when you made these ideas. Now you can go back and pull from those ideas, go back and finish some of those beats and just use what you've already started creating and just go in and finish them. Whether it's mixing, structuring them out, whatever needs to be done to those tracks, you have a stash that you can go back to, be able to work through you know, those creative ruts and beat blocks and things like that. Also, I have a bonus one. I just thought of this. Produce a different genre than you normally produce. Sometimes, like when I work in TV and film and I'm producing music for TV and film, sometimes I'll get asked to do a completely different genre than what I normally do. And like I enjoy it and have fun because it's like, it gives me a break from what I'm always producing and it allows me to experiment and produce something totally outside my lane. So produce a different genre, switch it up. So those are my favorite six ways to defeat producer's block and you know, just kind of get out of your own head and start creating again. So hopefully you found these tips helpful and hopefully they get you out of producer's block so you can get back to creating those dope beats. If you have any other ideas, drop them in the comments section so we can see and help each other so we can keep being creative and keep pushing out dope music. If you thought the video was helpful, please be sure to like, share, and subscribe. And make sure you join us over on Discord. The Arabic community is lit over there, so join us. The link to that will be in the description. Until next time, people, peace.